Hey guys, welcome to Mom's Kitchen. Stay tuned if you want to learn how to make this easy pot stickers. I will post the ingredients up in the description, but um, I'm going to start off with um, one pound of ground pork. You could use whatever meat you like if you like ground chicken or ground turkey. I just happen to have a pound of ground pork in my fridge, so that's what I'm going with. Um, all I'm doing is I'm cutting up, mincing up some uh, garlic and uh, chopping up my uh, shiitake mushrooms and a little bit of cabbage that I had left over from another meal. Um, and that's what we're going to do. Of course you already know this, but be sure you wash your uh, mushrooms. Um, I, I already removed the stems and um, washed it underneath the water, just a quick rinse and then um, paper towel the rest. Um, but just don't forget to do that guys. Okay, now it's time to put everything together. I'm just doing about a teaspoon of ground ginger or if you have fresh ginger, just use one um, teaspoon of it, just mince it. And then I'm gonna put in two tablespoons of hoisin salt and salt and pepper to taste. And that's basically it. Okay, now it's time to start a little assembly line. And remember, teamwork makes the dream work, so grab extra hands. Uh, so here's how I do it. I just put it in the middle of my one-ton wrappers and do a little egg wash uh, or just do eggs. I just use one egg and I just put it in the middle and I pinch the sides together. There's many ways to make pot stickers. This is how I make it. There's different ways you can roll it depending on if you have a moon size or I have triangle. I want to show you a quick sauce to go with this. Um, I use gyoza sauce and I mix it with hoisan sauce and sriracha. You could do whatever you like, but the gyoza sauce, I feel like it's a little bit too thin. So I just, that's why I add the hoisan sauce. And you could also add soy sauce too for additional flavor and salt. In a pan, get your vegetable oil hot so we can start the frying. When your vegetable oil is nice and hot, you want to slowly drop in a few of the pot stickers, brown it on one side until you feel that you can flip it, and then you want to do the same thing to the other side, and that's basically it, guys. Thank you guys for watching Mom's Kitchen. Here's the final plating of it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you tried this recipe. Please, if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos. As always, thank you for watching Mom's Kitchen.